My name is Sarah Cortina and Barnuminiums are my business. Today I have a Barnuminium that I'm going to show you. This is Barndo 15. Yes, we're going back in time. This is one of the first Barnuminiums that I ever built. This Barnuminium is 2,500 square feet living area, 2,500 square foot shop. It has a 15 foot breezeway between the shop and the house. It has a 10 foot porch all the way around the house. We have a carport in the front, carport in the back. It is very, very nice, fully loaded, 16 feet tall. Anyway, very nice. So I'm gonna show you that today. I will show you the shop. Some of these barn doors I haven't been able to show you shop. I will show you the shop on this one, okay? Uh, number two is I will not give you pricing. Uh, there's a few reasons for that, so I'm gonna touch on that right quick. Number one, it is private information. We never release how much a customer paid for their home. That is one of the things that we tell them that we will not release because that's private information. So even if we built you the exact same floor plan, you will likely make different selections. So it's not gonna cost the same, okay? It also depends on what your land looks like, access. I mean, there's so many variables, okay? So anyway, to get an idea of cost, go to the website. So another reason that we don't ever post pricing on social media is because it's not timeless information, okay? You may see this video five years from now and, and be misguided thinking that's what it costs. Where if you just go to the website, we keep that pretty current so you can always see what it costs. Again, we're not gonna tell you what this one costs, but we're gonna show it to you and I know you're gonna like it. All right, let's go check it out. All right, so today's barn aluminum that I'm gonna show you is it's a big one. We built this one about five years ago. The house is 2,500 square feet. As you can see, they have a 10 foot porch all the way around, and then they have a breezeway that separates the house from the shop. The house is a three bedroom, three bathroom. As you can see, huge living room, just a big open space. A very big master bedroom, very nice master bathroom, walk-in closet. They actually have two walk-in closets in the master suite. They have the uh, big walk-in closet, and then they also have, if you can see right there behind the pantry, they have a smaller walk-in closet. So kind of a his and hers type thing. Of course, they have a very nice laundry room as well. And then they have two bedrooms with two bathrooms. One bathroom serves as a hall bath, and the other bedroom, which is bedroom number two, is set up like a master bedroom. So anyway, as you can see, most of the square footage went into the living room, big open space. Uh, this barn dominium is 16 feet tall. If you guys want more information about these plans, you can purchase these plans from pristineplans.com. This is Barndo 15. All right, let me show you the rest of the Barndo. So this barn dominium, the siding is saddle tan and the trim is cocoa brown. The gutters are also saddle tan, which allows them to blend in with the siding. We did a three foot stone wainscot on the house and the columns, and then we did hardy board the rest of the way up. So this is the back of the barn aluminum, and as you can see, this is where we put our AC unit. We also put our vents sticking out above the porch so that you don't see them. Also, you can see a carport off to the left. Here we see the breezeway. Like I said, this is 15 feet wide. And of course, we have our continuous roof metal soffit that gives it a very nice arched look. As you can see, under the breezeway, the metal walls go all the way up, so we don't have any stone wrapping around on this portion of the barn aluminum it's just a much cleaner look all right let me show you the inside of the house and then I'm gonna show you the shop all right so when you come into the house this is what you see as you can see this was uh, decorated for Christmas so it was around Christmas time but anyway you see this is from the living room looking into the kitchen and as you can see it is huge <laughs> this uh, ceiling heights are 14 feet tall and as you can see we have a 10 foot big ass fan sitting right in the middle of the living room the kitchen, it's all custom cabinets. And as you can see, we did towel backsplash and we took it above the cabinets. As you can see, there is a very large island in the kitchen. They also have a nice sub-zero refrigerator and a Wolf 48 inch stove. The vent hood, obviously very big <laughs> to be able to suck all the fumes out of that big stove. Also, you're gonna notice some of the cabinets have glass fronts. We do custom cabinets, so glass fronts is always an option. All right, so moving into the living room, you will notice the wood floors, the big windows, the wood shutters. We also did crown molding on this barn aluminum. Like I said, the ceilings are 14 feet tall, so there's a lot of wall space. And what better to fill it up with than a big television. Here's something that's gonna blow your mind. This is all drywall, okay? <laughs> 
they hired a friend of theirs that does full painting and painted this wood wall but this is all drywall having said that everything on this house is drywall all the walls so you will see some incredible full painting on here all right let's go see the rest of the house So this is bedroom number two as you can see very very interesting color choices I mean I love this room when you walk into this room it just feels antique it just feels it just feels like you went back in time it feels amazing so as you can see it was very nicely decorated uh, again the color choices I love this room anyway so this room has its own bathroom as you can see there's a door there on the right that leads you onto the bathroom and uh, this is set up like a master bedroom So once you go into the bathroom, the first thing you're going to see is a shower. On the shower we have a frameless glass door that allows you to see the shower completely. As you can see we have a floating seat. We also have some wood grain tile on the wall. We also have very colorful tile the rest of the way. Also I want you to notice the brick wall in this bathroom. So that brick wall looks extremely amazing but remember what I told you, it's drywall. <laughs> it is very nice. Alright so let's move over to bedroom number 3. Again, 10 foot ceilings, crown molding, wood floors, and of course this one's decorated a little differently and uh, obviously very personalized. And no, you do not get extra points for guessing which team he roots for. Alright, so moving on to the hall bathroom, again hand painted, walls, full painting, amazing work. And also you will notice the uh, glass shower door frameless so very nice now we're gonna check out the master bedroom as you can see 10 foot ceilings brick wall which we already know by now it's just full painting but it looks incredible 10 foot ceilings we have a tray ceiling on this one wood floors another thing that I haven't mentioned is all the doors in this house are 8 feet tall because the ceilings are 10 feet tall the conventional 6 foot 8 doors look very short so we went to uh, 8 foot doors alright so now we move into the master bathroom so you can see custom cabinets his and her sinks we also have a frameless glass door for the shower and also you can see there is direct access to the walk-in closet from the bathroom we also have a nice tub here with nice tiles around. We also put tile in the front there. So everything just looks very nice. Also, of course, you have the shutters on the windows. So very, very nice, very nicely decorated. The master walk-in closet leads back into the living room. On the right here, we see the pantry. On the left, we see the laundry room. So the laundry room, as you can see, extremely colorful. Custom cabinets painted in lime green. And of course you can see the walls, just outstanding work. Remember, this is all drywall. This is all full painting. Incredible. All right, so the moment a lot of you have been waiting for, the shop. All right, so this is a 2,500 square foot shop. This is a 50 by 50. This is 16 feet tall. Of course, we have it fully insulated. We have closed sill foam insulation on the roof and we have open sill insulation on the walls. If you notice we also covered the walls with plywood up to 12 feet and uh, we went ahead and painted those on the floors with the granite text epoxy coating and we also did a loft here kind of mainly for storage kind of kicking back whatever they want to do very very nice very spacious and of course last but not least we put another big ass fan in the shop there is three big overhead doors with operators on them these doors are all insulated with wind struts for lighting we did all LED lighting which as you can tell lights this place up very very nice we also did a half bath in the corner of the shop so that you don't have to go in the house when you have to go <laughs> all right so what do you think pretty nice isn't it anyway like I said if you want more information you can always go to our website texasbarnominions.com you can also follow us on Instagram or our Facebook page. If you want more info on the plants, you can visit pristineplants.com. You can purchase plants from him or you can ask him any question you want about those plants. He can also modify those plants or whatever. So uh, we do not own the copyright on those plants, so we cannot share them with you. Otherwise, we would. Also, if you want more information on, on this build or other builds, pricing or whatever, you can always go to our website, texasbarnamuse.com. There's a lot more info there. We also have Instagram and Facebook that you can follow us there. So anyway, 
We'll see you next time. We are Texas Barnum Miniums.